freaking cockroach walking across the kitchen. Okay, we've seen it all. Food mishandling, filth. Now we've seen cockroaches. They can't eat this food. I got a romper room horse hanging upside down from the ceiling. I got a sign that says 24 seven, but we're not open 24 seven. The stage looks like a country western railroad station. Then the ultimate question, why is there a bathtub on the floor over there? <laughs> Not only is there a bathtub, but it's a filthy bathtub. And what does a bathtub have to do with a recording studio? I don't understand this place. This makes no sense to me whatsoever. Well, guys, I got great recon tonight. I got Tracy McKay and Kevin Bodie. Tracy McKay is DJ Dr. Doom. He's been on radio here since like 1996. He's a freaking legend. He knows bars, he knows this town really well. And who's better than a DJ for a bar with a recording studio above it? I'm gonna have them order some food, a couple of drinks. Let's see what they do. What can I do for you? Let me try uh, the low rider. All right, anything else for you? Um, is it a drink menu on here or did I uh, miss We don't ha currently have a drink menu at the moment. We're still we're working on re making a new one. No drink menu. Can I get a sex on the beach, please? Do you have like seven daiquiris in pina uh, We had one we used to have on the menu it's called the Duval daiquiri. It's a sure. high proof rum. Did you want to go and try that one? This I one. will go and tell you. It's a it's a strong one. All right, uh, that's right. I'm gonna grab his drinks real quick in the waters. I'll be right back. There's no speed rail there, so every time that you make a drink, you have to give your back to the guests. There's no workstation. So no there. workstation. Wait, what is he doing? What's he doing? What is he doing? What is... It looks like a tequila sunrise. You know, Moses, I always feel whenever they do a cocktail in a glass like that, they have to overpour. They have to. Because there's too much mix in the damn glass. The ratio is all wrong. That glass filled with ice probably holds, what, 14, 14 15 ounces, ounces yeah. right? If you're making a drink like a sex on a beach, you don't want it to be more than six or eight ounces or your ratios are off. Here we go. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Salute. Salute. Oh, good Lord, Jesus. It is strong. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> so it's all good. <laughs> Hold on. That's not a good face. <laughs> I think I need to mix it. Oh, God. Oh. You ever drink rubbing alcohol? <laughs> I'm going to drink rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Are the late night studio special? Yes, it's him. There's Jasmine. She's the general manager. I went in and brought you utensils because it's a huge hot oh, wow. dog. It seems like she's trying, at least to some degree. Absolutely, you got it. I'll be right back with the wings, too. I wonder if we gave her some training if she could be successful. Here we go, guys. <laughs> now, it's hard to screw up a hot dog. It, it looks like something. <laughs> I guess unless if you cover it with shit. shit. <laughs> oh, man, he spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> tastes like they made it, it tastes like it came from like frozen. Yeah, I don't know, they have a taste at all, really. You know, guys, I've seen enough. Not only do we have an incompetent manager who I haven't seen do anything all night, when a customer spits up the food, isn't that the end of the story? I think so. I'm gonna go to work, guys. Julian. Hey, John, how you doing? Good, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Can we come talk? Yeah. <laughs> so you opened this place how long ago? 2015. So I've been in Texas for uh, about four years now. Okay, so you go to Texas, now you can't run it anymore. Yeah. So what do you do? I bring in a partner okay. uh, to help me with, with the bar. And, and who's the partner? It's Kyle. So you bring in a partner to run the bar who's never run a bar before? No, he doesn't have any experience with the bar. Okay. You then give him carte blanche, as I understand it? I gave him, yeah, I gave him a lot of leeway in order to kind of try to improve things and make it better okay. and put it into his kind of design. Picking a rookie and giving him carte blanche, how did that work out? It, it hasn't worked out. He's like, Kyle did all of this. <laughs> well, let's deal with that now, because we got to go to work. Yeah, he, no, he Hey, Kyle! You're a manager of a business, man. You haven't smiled at one person one time. He has $300,000 in debt. He entrusted you to run this. He still trusts me, and I'm still running it. I turn and how's this place that working out? It's, it's working better than it was. What? Was the old bar more successful than the new bar? Not the new at all. bar. The new bar isn't as successful as the old bar. Bingo! <laughs> what the hell is this place? I walked past license plates. Right. A surfboard, yeah. a horse upside That's down. That's so cool. Empty beer cans. What is this place? Explain it to me. It's an aesthetic of me, because this is part of my place too. It's aesthetic of you. Yep. 
I think you're a f-ing idiot. This place is a conceptual nightmare. You see, you're supposed to build bars for your customers, not for you. Do you understand that a concept has to be something? Okay. It has to have quality food and beverage. Okay. DJ, how is that food? Terrible. How is the drink? Terrible. Terrible? I don't see a taco dog over there. If he had a taco dog, he wouldn't be saying that. He has a taco dog. He is a narcissistic I'm not a narcissist. What do you expect it's me to all say? About him. This place had green walls with nothing on it. I did all of this. Really? I gave a character to this I bar. I wouldn't tell too many people that. Your food sucks, your drink sucks, your concept sucks, and he's in a hole $300,000, and you think it's cool. Let me show you the coup de grace. Come with me, guys. Yeah, come on, let's ride, come on. Let's go, buddy. Is that acceptable to you as an owner? No, it's not. And he thinks he's successful. Let's keep going. What about this, buddy? Is that the code? I don't walk by that every day. You really have no right to take his money. I'm taking his money? You're losing his money. I am not losing his money. How much you losing a month, Julian? Hey, we're losing $8,000. $8,000 a month, and yeah. you won't even clean a stove, you piece that of shit. That is my job to clean a stove. How can you call yourself successful in any shape or form? The place is a shithole. No matter what the you say, I don't give a shit about. I don't give a shit what he's saying. You don't give a what anyone says. Right. That's your problem. Okay. The doors are still Because open. he's writing a check for eight grand a month. Anyway, did you guys enjoy your stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, tell loose there's that. Welcome to the hot wash. Here we go, everybody. You too. How we doing, guys? Here's our menus. Hey, can we sit at the bar? Absolutely. Pete Bones up. Pete up. Phoenix down. Good to see you guys. Good to see you too. I need three gin and tonic total, three sunrise total, and three sundown total. I can't taste them, but uh, they are actually awesome drinks. Put your stopwatch on for me. I want to see how long it takes you to get a drink, okay? So let's move quick, 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 quick. Let's do this. Order up. All right, two subs. Let's go. Got to keep it cleaner than that if you want people to pay money for it. Come on. All right, I totally lost where I was. Sorry. That's too heavy on your Aperol. You can already see it. Go again. Go again. Okay. That's all right. Oh, and I forgot the ground to We're going to dump this and we're just going to oh, stir it again. Oh, I'm still making the first three drinks. If I said I wasn't worried, I'd be lying. I'm very worried. Can Jason actually get involved? He's used to hiding in a corner. Now I want to see him in the middle of it all. Let's see if that happens. Okay, how many drinks are in here? Three. There's no way you're fitting three drinks in that. Start again, start again, let's go. Hey, don't forget about the other side of the bar, girl. Rob, am I blind? I don't way. see one drink out anywhere. Nope, no, no. nothing yet. Who doesn't have a drink? <laughs> Guys, we're 10 minutes in. I have one drink over there. Are you going to share your drink with everyone? No? OK. So we got a problem here. Let's get drinks out. Order up table five. Table five. Yep. Guys, we're completely yeah. failing here. Rob, how many are we dumping out? Uh, about 80, 90, 80, 90, 90 yeah. This is much worse than I thought. And Jason, yep, he's sober. Yep, he's trying. He doesn't know what to do to resolve this. So nothing's getting resolved. Let's do this. Who else needs a gin and tonic? Guys, this isn't happening fast enough at all. You got some napkins with you? Where are they at? I have them on my server station behind the red door. Take a deep breath, put it out quickly. God. Are they even collecting money? I haven't seen anything. You guys collecting money? No. So we've not collected any money. Oh my God. I did, I collected one. Well, one, but that, guys, we gotta go. Let's go collect some money, please. That's why we're here. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. These are great. Just redo that one. They haven't collected any money behind the bar. You've given away everything tonight. We're now about 45 minutes in. Food came out, but more drinks have gone in the trash than have crossed the bar. And we need to collect money from these guys, too. I, I haven't. This is a total failure. Folks, listen up. I think if we sit here till tomorrow morning, you still won't have cocktails. I think you're right. And to put you through this and put them through it is just torture. 
This is about as bad as I've seen in Bar Rescue. You have no skills, and at this moment, no chance of success. Um, Maria and Kevin as our recon spies. Okay. Welcome, in. Hi. How are you? Thank you. This place is so, so disgusting. It's the smelliest bar I've ever been in my life. <laughs> Imagine filthy, barred out rug scent just everywhere. Out of all the ones you've ever done? Honey, none of them have smelled like this. And you know, I get it. Dive bars, there's some nostalgia to that. However, you still gotta keep your freaking bar clean. Absolutely. What can I get for you guys? I just heard about Mitchell. What is it? Mitchell. Uh, and for you. Wow. Old fashioned, please. Sure. Okay. Sir, no sleeping at the bar, please. What? No sleeping. I'm not. Okay, man. okay, okay. There's some tissues for you, okay? Okay. Uh, My friend is why they have no women here. Take a look to the right. How many did you serve them? Two. Two, two, long, rounds. two long islands? Two long islands. Yeah. Are you good, sir? Yeah. What are we waiting for? I'm waiting for an IRC here. Um, uh, if John was here, I think he'd lift him and haul him out himself. <laughs> John would go like this. We're not going to serve you any more Long Islands. Good we'll job, Gabby. Now. You can see Gabby there is attacking the situation. Yeah. Ronnie, he's just kind of walking by. He needs to know what to do in these situations. I'm gonna hold off on that Long Island for you. But I would say, take your time on this Budweiser. The door's right there, sir. You can no. well, you can see your way out. No, you know what, that's not. It's okay, sir, it's okay. Right. I got it, I got it. Thank you, though. No. Come on, Ronnie, what are you doing? You should be doing this. I got it, I got it. Thank you, though. Uh, whoa. What? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 that's, that's the last of my problems. Do you guys want to close out? Oh, no, yeah, I I'm closing him out for sure. She's doing a great job of handling this situation. I wish Ronnie was doing it. The best thing to do is get that person out of the bar. It's all good. It's all good. Yes, sir. They can't be sitting at the bar top still causing commotion, mm -hmm. and they're allowing that to happen. Uh, it's time to go. The Thirsty Ox would like to thank you for your patronage. That's in the garage. It's kind of cool. Yeah? It's good. It's good. She likes it, but we've been sitting here for almost 20 minutes and she hasn't even finished Kevin's old fashioned. What, it, what is happening right now? Well, I know that she put a whiskey in first. Alcohol never goes first. If you mess up, that's okay. If alcohol is not yeah. first, you don't lose any money. Hey. <clears throat> Cheers. Cheers. Sorry I drank before you, but it was getting warm. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to drink a hot michelada, that's mm -hmm. for sure. I made it a little sweet, not too much. It's fine. Perfect? Yeah. It's because he's so damn thirsty. <laughs> Waited for so long, that's he's right. like, I'll have anything at this point. What's with the... Uh... And what's with the night? The night, it was inherited. Um, it was there before? Mm-hmm. It's everybody's favorite guy. The girls are just all over him. They want to take pictures with him. I mean, look at this bar. It's just a chaos. Mm. Just clutter all over the place. It looks completely unclean and unhealthy. You can have a great local dive bar. Yeah. It doesn't have to be dirty. It doesn't have to be disgusting. It doesn't have to be a freaking mess like this place is. You know what really pisses me off is that Gabby's running around this whole bar and Ronnie is sitting there doing nothing. This is his bar, this is his legacy. I need to go in there and find out what the hell is going on with Ronnie. Look at the kitchen. Oh, this is bad. It's filthy. Oh gosh, wow. Oh. Ew. Oh. That's just gross. Everything is coated with grease. Oh. There's a cockroach. That is enormous. How do they not see that? Oh, you can see oh. around it. Oh my gosh. That was gonna spread oh. all over the kitchen. <laughs> no. no. He doesn't even know it's there. Oh my God. So we're watching now. One of the dirtiest kitchens I think we've seen in a long, long time. This is absolutely disgusting. We have another bucket for that right side so those beers can cool down. The ice machine is not working. Yeah, we can't use any of these. It's too warm in there. It's too warm? Yeah, damn. Yeah. Go ahead, mark down on the waste log. Why did I get so warm? 
So they have this big walk-in behind the bar. The cooler doesn't work. I'm told it's about 85 degrees in there. Stop. And they have beer in there and they have some food product in Why there. Why are they storing stuff in there if it's 85 degrees? Yeah, it's not cold enough. Well, I can't have nice things, people. Well, one of two things. Oh, Either thanks. Kathy doesn't care or Kathy's incredibly ignorant. If she doesn't care, she's doomed. She's not gonna just make it to next month and it's over. If she does care, we should be able to teach her. Here's what I'm gonna do. I have two great recon guys from ESPN Radio. These guys do remotes and sports bars all the time. They live in sports bars. So I thought they were great recon guys to come in, give us an overall scope of the place. Sure. I'm gonna have them come in, but I'm not gonna let them eat that food. I'll go in before they eat it, because I think we agree, Jen. They cannot eat that food. Absolutely not. What do you want to say? This right, right here? Yeah. Are we ready to get some drinks started, guys? Yeah. So what do you got on drafts? We have no draft tonight. It's just going to be bottled. No drafts? Why not? Um, our walking has been down for a little bit, so we can't serve drafts. How long has it been down? A month. A month? A month. I'm just the bartender. No draft beer? That's because of the walk-in issue again. How is that acceptable to Kathy? You have like a specialty cocktail? Prickly pear is pretty good. I'd say the caramel white Russian is also popular Ooh, if you like Yeah, can I try the caramel white Russian? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do uh, spicy martini. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna let you go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this entire glass is cream. No. Mm -mm. Amazing, thank you. Ooh, baby. Absolute pepper vermouth. <laughs> I'm gonna get the blue cheeseburger with no mayo. Absolutely. How'd you want it cooked? Medium, please. Let's get Thank it going. You. Look at that burger. Ew! It's not the right color. Oh my god! This kitchen is a disaster. I'm terrified to see the bar. What is he doing? He's putting a meat thermometer in a hamburger. I've never seen that in my life, Chef. It's pointless. The bottom of his probe is touching the, the hot grill. grill of course. So he's not getting an accurate temperature on it. What's with that cheese? Oh, is that all dry and hard? Yeah, it has oh. a whole structure. Has that cover ever been washed, ever? OK, we got some fries. In that filthy basket, that in that crunchy basket. oil. Even I know that oil's not the right color. There's nothing about this place that isn't disgusting. Right. This is unbelievable. This should be shut down. This should yeah. not be operating this way. Chef, can we let a customer eat that? Absolutely not. Uh, They're going to make people sick. We have to go in there. We do. Let's do it. We'll see you later. All right. I want to see your meat, guys. Yes, sir. Take a look, Jen. John, I mean, even on the inside, it's all the way through. When were these made? Um, Does this look good to you? Mm. Would you want to eat that? Personally, no, sir. But you're serving it to people. Where's Kathy? Kathy! Hello, I'm John. Hi. I'm here to save you. And this is Jen, one of the best chefs in America. Has worked with me a long time. We're outside watching them cook burgers. Those burgers are going to go to your guests right now. Look at this. This is what you're serving people? What the hell is wrong with you guys? Would you eat? What else we have going on here, guys? Check this out. Yeah, not acceptable. What else we have, Jen? We have brown lettuce. We have. We don't have a walk in to hold anything. Everything's been frozen. When I pull it out and it defrosts, it just crumbles apart. Like, it shouldn't be frozen. Exactly. I think the well, same. Well, come on, guys. Does anybody know what they're doing? Does anyone? You're serving people. You're going to kill somebody. So for recon, I got two friends, Matt McConnell and Tyson Nash. OK. Both yeah. are announcers yeah. for the Arizona Coyotes. They're hockey guys. As a matter of fact, Tyson used to play. So they go to sports bars yeah. all the time. So they'll give us a good scope They've on seen this it bar. All. Can I get you guys? How are you? That's great. Good. Uh, I'll lemon drop, please. I will do a Long Island if you don't mind. Okay, two. Okay, lemon drop. Will you make a Long Island in that one? So they're all working out of one well? Look at those pores. She has absolutely no control. And she's still pouring. That's way too much alcohol. That is a completely unbalanced cocktail. Thank you. You're very welcome. Let's see how he reacts to this. You got a shot on a drink? Cheers, man. I don't know. First yeah. 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 Oh, God. Oh. Look at the look on your face. Yeah. <laughs> no, person, do that first. And Paint thinner. Yeah. Oh, God. This is painful. 
They're not drinking those drinks. No, I mean, it's terrible. You can see it from here how bad yeah. they are. Could we order some food too, please? You guys ready? Uh, I'm gonna get maybe the Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. Um, and I will do the uh, chili cheeseburger. You got it. See how the food's doing, Chef. What do you see? I mean, I see just a general filth. That fryer is smoking. So whenever there's smoke coming up out of the fryer like that, it's always dirt in the oil. Always. Because oil doesn't smoke. Right. The debris in the oil is burning what flies at the bottom. And this carbon buildup on this grill, I mean, that's a fire hazard right, right there. Look, look at, oh, oh my God. Look at the disgusting griddle. It's just jet black. It's, I've never seen it so dirty, actually. I mean, that's oh. crazy. Oh. Look at that salamander. How do you come here day after day and do nothing about it? That sauce jar. Look at that jar. Oh, thank you. oh my God, look at that. Unbelievable. This might be one of the worst kitchens this, we've this seen together. Real. I'm in shock. I mean, I've just never seen anybody cook in such filth. And you wonder how many people walk by that and don't yeah. do anything about it, particularly Natalie. Oh my God, how's it going? That's the worst I have ever seen. Oh. Look at the cutting board. It's yeah. gnarly. So that's Casey. He's actually trying to clean a little bit. Yes. Like Look at the mouth. dirty rag. He's obviously never been trained. No, it's clear. It's he doesn't seem lazy, though. The kid seems no, to be he's working. He's doing his best. He just doesn't know any better. The kitchen manager should be training him or keeping the standards up. But look at that. But this isn't all on them. Natalie is responsible for this failure, too. Freaking cockroach walking across the kitchen. OK, we've seen it all. Food mishandling, filth. Now we've seen cockroaches. They can't eat this food. No way. So we have to get in there. Yeah, they're, so, they're absolutely not. I think you should go ahead in. Okay. Go All stop right. them. All right. Nobody should eat this damn food. Hey. I'm John's expert. Stop. You cannot cook in this kitchen, dude. How dirty is this kitchen? You gotta be kidding me. The, the fryers, look at this place. You don't care? You just don't care, right? F it, we'll just cook in filth and that's it? Yeah? Dude, what, you're, you guys are cooking in this kitchen, in this level of filth. Look at this, man. Look at that. See it. So what, just it's up to him. They're not even taking this seriously. I'm going to get Natalie. I was outside watching this place with Jason Santos. Jason's one of the finest chefs in America. We're looking at the filth in this kitchen. Come with me, Natalie, I want you to learn. First of all, look at this. Nothing is ever cleaned here. Look at this grill. It's supposed to be silver, not black. Does that look clean to you, Casey? No. It's disgusting, correct? Correct. Let's keep going. Let's put that in line. How about the grease over here? You got black smoke coming out of the oil. Do you know what that smoke comes from? And not the oil. It comes from the filth within the oil. Then look at this. Look at the fat dripping from up here. Look at this. This is your kitchen, Julio. This is your life, look at this. How about this? You're giving this to your customers. Would you give this to your children? No. How dare you give it to your customers? This is you? Are you crazy? Julio, say something. Do you care? You don't care. He does care. Is this caring? I don't is think this he cares. Caring? I think he can you be turned around. leave the bacon sitting out every shift all night. Not at the right temperature. It's been like this the whole time. Since I've worked here, this kitchen's never been clean. Julio, you have the most disgusting kitchen I've ever seen. Everything in this place is freaking disgusting. You're going to kill someone. So your mom has how much money invested in here? A lot. Almost $200,000, correct? Yeah. How much more money do you have before we have to end? None, really. You're losing everything, correct? Yeah. That's why I'm here, because she's losing everything, and this guy doesn't even clean up. She's sinking, and you don't give a shit. We can't serve people out of this kitchen, can we? No. And you don't want to serve people out of this kitchen, I correct? Don't. Correct. So what are we going to do? Can he be turned around, or does he have to get the hell out of this building and not come back? Which is it? Because I got a great chef here. We can train him, but he's got to care. Julio, do you care? We have 
John Taffer here to help us fix it. Can we fix it? Yes. Because if not, I'm gonna lose everything. Yes. Can we fix it for real? Yes. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.